Hello guys, it's Ayubi and today I wanted to spend some time explaining to people uh, how to use newer uh, texturing methods on older games like Skyrim or Fallout. Uh, now, why, why did I decide to make this? I think that there's a lot of people uh, that are getting into it and I've made already an older uh, YouTube uh, like method of texturing and everything and my methods updated a lot. And the results are a lot better and I figured it might be good to share and explain to you how do I do this. So, for example, you made your model and you made your high poly. You followed tutorials from before, but you have your models, basically. And uh, now you've come to the point of texturing it. This is Substance Painter, of course. So, you don't need any special add-ons like I told you before. You know, we're not even going to use Spec Gloss Workflow. Now, Specular Glossiness Workflow is a workflow that is used in older games. We're going to use PBR. But you might wonder, why do we use PBR when Fallout and Skyrim don't even support PBR? And you would be right, but uh, partially, because Fallout uses partial PBR. It uses PBR in only two channels out of three, but I'll, I'll show you what that means. Don't, don't be worried. Okay, so for example... Uh, I'll just uh, stick to the practical way of explaining things just so you so I don't throw all, throw in all the theory on you and you don't know what I'm talking about. So before you would uh, go into Skyrim, I don't know Skyrim or Fallout template here or non specular or I mean specular gloss or something like this. But now we're going to use Unreal Engine 4 template. This is just a template. It doesn't mean that this is just made for Unreal Engine 4. This is a uh, the most modern way of texturing there is, to my knowledge. I know that there is Unreal Engine 5 out, and uh, if you make something for, for not related to Fallout or Skyrim, you can still use Unreal Engine 4 template to uh, in, in, in Unreal Engine 5. It's going to work perfectly. And it, even when Unreal Engine 5 template comes to Substance Painter, I don't know if it's already there, the newest version, this is 2023 version, but... Even if it comes out, it's going to be exactly the same like this one. So don't worry about it. Well, you'll select this and document resolution, I always go with 4K. And then you start texturing. You also do uh, your bake, you know, like I showed you on YouTube already, all of this. But uh, I'll show you the differences now. So in, in this workflow, you'll notice that everything you do looks a lot better. And that is because PBR, uh, it's, just, it's just more modern way. You know, everything you do here will look better. But the problem will come when you're exporting it. And also one more thing. So you might notice, uh, let's say, uh, I just want to show you something. Let's say here I wanted to have opacity, uh, you know, like alpha, some torn effect so you can see through it. And you'll see that there's no opacity here like it, there is before. So what you need to do is, if you if you are doing that, is you go into texture set settings, you go to channels, click plus, unsupported by shader, and you add opacity. And then... If you go into properties of your uh, layer again, you can click OP and then put it all the way down, you know, but in here you cannot see it. And that's also a problem. So since this is a PBR metal rough shader, you need to select it. Uh, so under shader setting, you need to select PBR metal shader with alpha test. And I see that it disappears. So don't, don't uh, forget about that. You see, I can still go like, uh, I don't know, black mask and now I can just paint and it will be transparent, you see. I just wanted to show you that. But uh, let's say we completed our model completely. We textured everything here the way we wanted to. Now it's come to the part where we export. So you go to File, Export Textures. And in here, uh, we need to make a new one. You see, I have Fallout PBR here. Uh, you will have to do slight, just minor edits in Photoshop. It's very simple. You get used to it super quick. But it doesn't matter that this is Fallout. It will, it will, it's also for Skyrim, and I'll show you how. It's, and I'll show you the differences between the two, just so you understand if you're doing conversions and texturing of both of them. So, for example, oftentimes I make one mod, and I need to port it from Fallout to Skyrim, or the other way around. And I, I'll show you how I do that. It's very simple. And anyway, like we need to create this. We don't have this. I've come up with my own way of uh, exporting it. And I call it just Fallout PBR. So I'll show you here so you can copy it. And I'll show you what, what it means. So you see, uh, when you click here on plus, you'll be able to create new um, new preset, which later on you can select here just to export here. 
and uh, let's create it. So for the first thing, you need to click RGB plus A. Now, uh, A is, means alpha, just so you know. So it's alpha channel. R means uh, red, green, gray. Uh, G means green and B means blue. So first up, RGB plus A and then RGB and then RGB like separate and then just grayscale. I'll, I'll show you what this grayscale does. You might be confused at the beginning, but it's going to make sense, I promise. So for the first one, you take base color and you drag it into RGB channel. Then you take opacity uh, and you drag it into your gray channel, not alpha, but gray. And you'll see why. Because if anything that is that has opacity will, uh, will have, you might think it's going to be gray. It won't, it will be completely transparent. It's a bit com difficult to explain, but this is the way I came up with that works the best. For the normal map, you just drag normal uh, DirectX and you toss it in under RGB. You see these little squares here. Uh, you see the colors be beneath it. That tells you what channels it is. So you see this is gray. This is uh, RGB. This is gray. You see? Even though it's a green color and it's a red uh, font, but you know. You see under specular, we're here. Uh, for Fallout, I told you, only two channels out of three are uh, used. And uh, in Specular, you have uh, you have a different thing. You have Specular and you have Glossiness. But in PBR Workflow, you have Metalness and Roughness. And they, they, they are similar, but not quite so. But we will use them as if they are. I know it might be confusing, you'll see what I mean. So let's say, uh, since it's R plus G plus Blue, you take, we need to put something in this red one, and it's going to be metallic. It will go into red one. In the in the green one, you put in roughness. Now, obviously, they will go under gray channel, not under alpha. And blue, if we don't put anything here, because I told you, Fallout doesn't use full PBR. It doesn't use blue channel. Grayscale, for in here, you just put mixed AO. Now, you might think, what is AO, and why do I call it grayscale? AO is something that deals with shadows. So you see this thing here, oops. So you see, if you pay attention to this thing here, this is ambient occlusion. You see these like shadows. The, those shadows aren't there. They're, you know, I'll bake them onto the texture. So they're here. This is what, this is how it looks like without them. You see, this is without them. And this is, do I have? Yeah, you see, these are those shadows. I want to export them so I can put them on top of this. Uh, base colors, it looks better. Don't worry about it. Uh, now, once you're done, uh, that, that should be all with that. And I, you, this is a matter of your choice. It doesn't matter what you go with. I always go with default background color, without, regardless of whether it has opacity or not. You select everything here uh, under Fallout PBR and you just click Export. And once you export it, you want to open your Photoshop. I was doing something here just to show you, but uh, I'll show you now again <laughs> because I had to redo the video because I made a big mistake. Okay, in any way, uh, you have these four channels now. Uh, first, we need to make our D map, diffuse map. Load up the, this is base color. You see it, it has nothing but just the color. This is called base color. It, uh, in Fallout and in new games, this is this works perfectly. You just put it in game and it works. But if you want to have a little bit of extra shadows so that it looks a bit more PBR-ish, you want to add grayscale color too. So you go under file, place embed, and you add this. You, if you uh, be careful of this, because I'll show you what can happen. If you're zoomed in way too much and you go into file, place embed, it will place it so that it's not aligned. You see, it's very important that it's aligned. Otherwise, this will not work. So you, you zoom out a bit, you go to file, place embed, and you go grayscale. You paste it. And now under your layers, you select that the grayscale one is multiply. And now you see, we have those... Uh, Oops, we have those uh, shadows I told you about onto our diffuse map. You go to file, save as, and you save it as skirt diffuse map, skirt underscore D. See, just save it. Uh, if you use, hey, eh, now there's another thing I want to show you. This is okay for this one, but I'll show you one more thing. Let's say you have opacity on this. You have a torn effect on this. Then this will not work, and I'll show you why. I'll just put this below it, just so it's, it does. You don't need to do it, but I'll show you, just so you see this. Okay. So let's say I, my model came up with this. I was making torn jeans or whatnot, and I have this. But now, if I would just paste this and over it, you see, it would actually go over it, and that would tell the game that it's not 
uh, transparent. There is this black thing going over. So how do we solve it? We just go into, um, you can just select, <laughs> um, you know, into your, how, do, how is this tool called? Uh, quick selection tool. And you just drag over everything except of the hole, right? And then you, uh, you click on grayscale, you hold control and click J. And now you have it separate. You see, so now it doesn't go over this. And then you save it and that's your diffuse map. But you, you, when you save it, you need to make sure that you have, uh, I'll just save it like this, don't worry, uh, that it's color plus alpha. Uh, because you have alpha here, you see. It, you can also keep it white, but then you will need to specify in, uh, in material editor later that you don't have alpha, but you have color that acts as alpha. It's a bit more complicated, just do it with alpha. It's a lot easier, trust me. You don't want to go through these problems. And also keep in mind with this, you see, I selected sRGB DirectX, uh, DirectX 11. This is not good uh, because sRGB is a color space that is for the internet and it has a lot less uh, color, sp color uh, range than the normal linear one does. So uh, if you, what you have here and you export, if you export it as sRGB, it will look completely dark in game and completely different to what you have. So make sure you select linear DirectX 11. This is very important that you do. Trust me on this. Linear DirectX 11 BC7 and save. Okay, wait for it, wait a moment for it to save. And now what we want to do is we want to open our normal map. Now you will have something like this. Uh, I'll show you. This is how your normal map will look like. I already did this before, but uh, I'll show you. And you might think, okay, you don't have to do anything here because this looks okay. And you would be right for Skyrim. For Skyrim, this is the way normal map looks like. But for Fallout, it's different. Because in Fallout, normal map has a blue channel inverted, so it looks yellow. So you might think like, oh, this is yellow. It's actually not yellow. It is, uh, if you click on each channel, you can see that they are all actually blue, uh, I mean, white and black and grayscale. You see? There's no other colors, but if you combine those colors, you see, you're starting to get something. And anyway, just select channels, invert blue map until you get something that looks yellowish, greenish. That's your normal map. Okay, once you, once you save it, uh, just click like this, so I don't need to write everything. I always save normal map as just color, and I go with BC7, find linear. Always find linear, always, always, always. BC7, don't go BC1, that's... Not. And you might think like, oh, but this is normal map, why don't you use normal map here? Because if you use this normal map here, uh, it will invert the channels again and you will not get something you're looking for. It'll, it's not good. Don't do it. Just use color import like this. It works the best. Trust me on this. Okay, so that's normal map as well. Let's go to specular map. And this is our specular map. So let's say... Uh, if my, um, we have our obviously red, green, blue channel, and I told you blue is not used because this is not full PBR. We just use red and green. And you might wonder what is, what are you on about? What does that mean? Now look, uh, red is metalness. It's the strength of, uh, for, for let's say, I'll explain it like this. So if you have uh, your skirt here and it has a button and you want that button to be fully metal, fully reflective, you would, uh, you would obviously select roughness here. I don't know. I'll show you now. You see metallic full, uh, roughness full, and I just go black mask and I just paint it here. Like, uh, I'm just trying to explain you. Okay. So let's say you see this here. So it would be somewhere like this over here. And that would mean that in red channel, it would be colored as white here, somewhere here. You would have white dot. And that means this thing is metallic. It will fully reflect environment map. Everything that is black will not. It's pretty simple. If you um, if you're um, if you would want something like letter effect or something, you can paint all of this as gray or something. You know, for example. Um, but I'm not. Uh, you might paint. You might. You need to pay attention to this. I'm not doing it in layers. I'm doing it under channel and red. So only this one needs to be selected. So I would go with something like this. I don't know. Um, you cannot see this. Okay, now you can. You see. This is completely black. I would go something like this, so you would get that letter effect. Green, uh, green is uh, green is what uh, where all the magic happens. 
this is uh, basically uh, your roughness. But in in since we I told you since we are using um, Skyrim and Fallout are using older workflow, uh, this is considered uh, what's it called? I think it's glossiness. I think it's glossiness. But let me show you the difference. Uh, when you have a letter or something like this, uh, this fabric, you see uh, it has a lot of gray and white. And white would be very reflective, and gray would be not reflective. You see, it's the same color as this. If you pay attention to it, I don't know if you can see it. I think it is. Yeah, it's nearly the same color. Uh, which means that um, when you would shine light over your model, it would um, it would show some depth with the lightning. Oh, or lighting, I'm sorry, not lightning. But you, <laughs> you get what I mean. In any way, if, it, if you have something like this, that means it, nothing is reflective. Except of this, I messed up with this, but don't mind me on it. And you go under File, Save As, and you go into DDS and you just export it as S. And that's it. You click OK, because you want everything to be BC11 linear directex, as usual. And now, if you want to uh, do... So now we have Fallout textures, right? These three that we have here are good for Fallout. If you want to convert it into Skyrim, what you do is you just delete this skirt one, uh, the S one, and you go into normal map, channels, and you invert blue again. So you have something that looks blue. And you save it, and then you have everything ready for Skyrim. That's it. That's all it takes. But there's one more difference. Uh, one more difference, guys. Uh, in uh, Skyrim, when you have something that is metallic, fully metallic, it will need to be black in the fuse map. So if you have, you remember that button from before that I told you about. If it's in Skyrim, if it's white in Fallout, it will look great. It will look white in game. But if it's black, it will not reflect anything. While in Skyrim, it's the other way around. You need to have metallic, metallic things completely black in the fuse map. So, because you don't use specular map, you, you have one map less, so that means you need to rely more on diffuse and normal map. So you your metals in Skyrim need to be black color. That's blackness reflects metalness 100%. Now, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to tell you guys, but those are the new things I learned and I experimented with all of this and that's what works amazing. And I think you can see it in the quality of my latest mods. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you... Um, you learned something and I hope you get better at your modeling and texturing and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.